Episode 379, Rebirth. The martial art Alex was using to help Debbie is often called a pounding medicine. The name came from a legend about an old practitioner pounding herbs on a rock under a full moon. It was a tender power, as gentle as a slow running creek in spring. As much as he wanted to fight the power hurting Debbie with something strong like fire, that was not how this art worked. This power worked best when it was allowed to work gently. Alex had a picture of the ancient practitioner in his mind. But as he focused on the image, the picture transformed. Instead of the battle-hardened martial artist he had imagined before, in his mind's eye, he saw a young girl grinding the herbs on a rock. She had a sorrowful, tender expression on her face. But she moved with determination, never faltering no matter how hard she worked. He realized he was looking at the creator of the art he was currently trying to use. The power he was tapping into now came from the Moon Palace itself. It was a deep power infused into the heart and soul of the place, strengthened by years of dedication and hard work from disciples. But that was not all that made the power of the Moon Palace strong. It was love. The blind old woman who had come to show him the cave had spoken about this. She had spoken of how the original founder of the Moon Cult had been separated from her lover by her parents forced to go another way. They had each studied hard and created their own practices, attracting students and forming a long-lasting tradition of martial arts. But neither had been able to fully let go of that first love they had shared. They had channeled that love into their studies instead. Every move, every technique, every shred of wisdom was founded on deep, unfulfilled love. Alex suddenly felt a deep connection to every previous master of the moon cult who had studied and trained and practiced in the centuries before him. Each of them had used their love as a source of power. He realized his love for Debbie had always given him great power, even when he hadn't realized it. He knew he would move heaven and earth for her. In many small ways, in the past he already had, even before he had come to understand martial arts or begin training. Even before he had the love of the Moon Palace to draw upon, he had drawn upon his own love for Debbie. But he hadn't always felt confident that things would work out. He had been his most powerful when he had felt that there was no other choice and no chance of success but had tried his hardest to win her anyway. He felt as if all the previous masters were watching him fight for Debbie, willing to find the answer. He realized he had spent precious energy fighting Tyson's internal force at work in Debbie as if throwing burning matches at a blizzard. He suddenly understood this was not how they would win. He took a deep breath and settled into himself, into the knowledge that he would never abandon Debbie, even if his efforts seemed doomed to failure. He felt the cold creeping upon him and chose not to be afraid. He let himself feel tired, as if the last of his strength was being drained. But as what he thought of as his true strength drained away, he felt filled with something else. A new aura unfamiliar to him, yet utterly powerful. In the end, he had felt certain was coming for him, and Debbie did not come. Instead, something like a strong summer breeze surged through him, chased by a wildfire. As the energy coursed through him, Alex realized that he had come to a new understanding of himself, and of what he thought of as power. He felt as if he had passed some strange test set by death and come out immortal. He took several deep breaths, tasting his new power. Wisps of his aura emanated from his fingers, still pressed against Debbie's forehead, 
and began to seep into her skin, chasing the cold away. His palms grew warmer and warmer, and he began to gently share his energy with Debbie, letting her feel the thrill of this new power the same way he had. It took Debbie several moments to notice the change. She was still filled with fear and cold. She had been fighting Tyson's attack for so many days that she felt numb to change. But slowly, she began to notice that she was feeling comfortable and warm, as if floating on the gentle waves of a lovely sea. She felt soft from head to toe. She imagined waves cresting over her head, washing away frost and mud and fear. She felt filled with an incredible spirit that relaxed her muscles even as it strengthened them and made her skin feel clean and bright. Filled with this energy, she became even more beautiful than she already had been before. With a soft, satisfied sigh, Alex let his hand fall. His eyes scanned her face, her hands and her eyes, making sure that she was well. She looked back at him, calm and peaceful and serene. It had worked. <laughs>